Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a style and actually modify one of the preset styles in Excel in order to get one that you like or in other words to tweak one of the presets and make it customized for repeated use by yourself. The cool thing about styles which are in the home ribbon in the styles group is that once you can record that your styles and once you've recorded them you don't have to go through all the step-by-step -step formatting changes that you would have to do including font borders italics underlines size borders sorry bold uh, fill color font color alignment orientation indentation wrapping and so on and formatting of the numbers okay so if you record or uh, save a style that you like that you want to use repeatedly you can actually do all of these things record it one time into a custom preset here and have it easily accessible so with one click you can highlight a region of cells that you want to modify and with one click let's say here you can choose you can apply all those formatting changes to the, your data so let's see what I mean let's say we want to apply a style to this top portion of this table that I've created well if I go over here there are all these styles I can choose from and some of them might be appealing to you and some may not and some might be actually close to what you want but not exactly what you need in another video I've created a uh, uh, I've shown how to create a new style which is down here starting from scratch but in this video I want to show you how to grab one of these styles that are already made and modify them okay because sometimes they look close to what you want and you just want a little bit of change so for example let's choose this linked cell style okay looks pretty cool I like the double underline I like the font uh, might, maybe I don't like the color and I also want to format my numbers so that they are uh, maybe two decimal places so the way I can do that is re-highlight the same region and now that I've chosen this style linked I can go over to new style and here I can just leave that default name or I can change this to anything I want and I can go click format and actually make any changes as you can see for example on their font font color is orange and that's that's that orange color that we're seeing in our table over here here I can change this to any color I like let's say purple I can go over to number and change this to uh, category to number with two decimal places instead of having five or six as we have right now furthermore I may want to change the alignment from general to center and I think that is all click OK and now I've modified the linked cell style which was one of the presets if I hit OK here you can see at the top portion over here style 3 has been created okay and so if I highlight my cells here and I go to the styles group click on style 3 you can see that the font became purple bluish purple like we chose our numbers became two decimal placed and you notice everything is centered and not uh, right aligned okay the actually actually the underlines here are still orange and that's something we didn't change and actually it looks pretty cool but if you did want to change this you can highlight this region again click on style 3 click on new style go over give it a new name go over to format and it's under borders this is the border color border color was still orange and it looks pretty cool but let's say we want to change this to a green okay
we can click OK here and everything else we liked so we can save this as style 4 and it doesn't apply it right away but if we highlight the region again and find our style 4 we'll see actually we did looks like we didn't make that change let's see what happened format green and I think that's not sure what happened there it's keeping the green let's see what's going on new style let's choose this green and let's apply the double underlines And there we go. We have to choose the color. We have to choose the color. And it's under style six. We have to choose the color and then not only choose the color, but also choose the borders. So we can click none and then choose the bottom border. And this is the style that's already chosen and click OK. And then in this way, it saved the style as green. Okay. The other times we were forgetting to click on the actual where we wanted the green border and so it wasn't applying it. So in this video we just saw basically how to modify one of the preset styles in Excel to customize it slightly more to your liking. And again the benefit of these styles is that you can with one click you can apply a style to an entire region instead of having to go through each of the components of formatting i.e. text, size, alignment, orientation, fill color, font color, and, and number formatting. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and Computer Tricks tutorial videos. Please click on our sponsor's ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.